welcome back. Um, let's see if we can't get up there. Oh dear god, this is dangerous. So dangerous. What is this? Ah, ah! Okay, I don't know, but apparently there's a, a skeleton spawner here. And a chest. Enchanted leather armor. Alright. Sounds good to me. Let's put that on. Let's see, are there more chests? What's on top of that tower? I don't know. Oh boy, so dangerous. It looks like there's stuff on all four corners. Feather boots. Feather falling four. Let's just jump past here. Oh, good food. More food. Because I was about to starve. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. Oh, so dangerous. More feather boots. Okay. And then I'm just gonna pillar up here and see what's on top of that. Ghast spawners. That's what's on top of that. Okay, I don't have... Here. Let's see what this does for me. Feather Falling 4. Mm. I'm still worried that it'll kill me. Okay, let's see. Wow. One damage. Okay. Don't I look cool with my gold boots? Um, I don't have enough stone to get over there. So... Um, well, actually... Oh. I hate skeletons. If you didn't know. Oh, he's in a... Yeah. These things. No, nope, get me out. No. Nope. Oh, good. Some of them are fighting. Okay, what I'm going to do is... Since I want to get across... Actually, I have no torches now. <laughs> so, never mind. Um, but what I did want to do, which I can do just by taking some of these, is go, <clears throat> I'm going to have to make a little platform, so no, I need to take more. Um, I want to go up on top of this entire thing and see what's up there, because I don't believe that there's just nothing up there. Those those corners are too are, are too ornate for there to be nothing up there. So we will come over here, where if I fall, I fall down onto the stuff we've already got down there. And okay, this works. And then see if we can't get up there with this. We might not be able to, which is all right. I mean that's. That's too bad. I should have done this during the day. I really should have done this during the day. That's okay, we may not make it at the top. Oh, yep, there's a chest in there. Hmm. Can we make it all the way up there? Yes, we can. Oh, is this the, the ceiling? Oh, it is the height limit. Okay. That's interesting. Um, so that means there's actually nothing on here. There may be something on one of these rings, though, on the corners. That's weird. I wasn't expecting it to be up to the height limit. But yeah, no, there's nothing up here. Alright. I guess that was just a waste of time, then. But there is definitely something by those gas spawners. Where did I... There it is. 
So I said, where did I put my pillar? Whoa, almost fell off there. Okay. Um, I almost wish, I really wish I had my diamond uh, shovel now. Which I'm sure I didn't take with me. Yeah, no. Oh boy, there's so many gas spawners and so many mobs in there. But, uh, there's a chest too, which means there's probably like some good armor in that or something. Or a good weapon, even. Um, I intend to just dig in the side. How high is that? Five blocks? So I'll just need to go in the top five blocks or something, which I can just get into from up here. And I don't need to light up the area, I just need to get in and get that chest. Um, I got plenty of space in my inventory, so I, could, I suppose I could do that now. Um, before I go in, though, I'm going to take off my feather falling boots and put on the protection ones. Um, oh, oh dear. And now I'm stuck in cobwebs. Okay. I guess that didn't go as planned. Um, let me just dig out this. And... How many more? Okay, that's it. I'll just use the sand first, because it's just taking up space in my inventory. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Okay, you again. That really needs to stop going over Minecraft. I don't know why it does that. It shouldn't. As far as I know, it should just put it, um... Oh good, the spiders are just flying, or just jumping off, so... That's cool, I'm okay with that. Yep, a gas just spawned. Got it. Okay, now get out. Oh hey, light. Sharpness 4. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Time to run. Oh, don't blow up my chest. Okay, good. Ow! Oh, dear God, that scared me. Wow, I hit it with that arrow. Come on, you stupid ghast. What the? Where did that arrow come from? <laughs> Was that one of my arrows? Did I shoot, like, straight up? Okay, stop shooting at me. I need to grab the wolves from this chest. There we go. Okay, grab the iron, grab that, 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 um, that can stay. I don't really want it. Oh, jeez, my inventory's full. Okay, I don't want that. I do want that. I don't want that. I do want that. I do want that. Uh, I have space in my room for my inventory for that, so I might as well take it. I don't want that. Did I manage to pick up that chest that, no, no, the chest didn't break. Okay. Um, cause yeah, uh, a ghast shot at that chest and blew it up, so I just grabbed the, uh, the sword that was inside, and ran. <laughs> so we've got a new diamond sword, with a sharpness 4 on it, which the other one may have had knockback, but, um, the fire aspect didn't really help me too much. I mean, it killed stuff quickly once they were away from, or it killed stuff when they were away from me, which helped, but this one should kill thing like, almost everything should die pretty quickly with this one. So, um, that'll be pretty useful to me. Um, because sharpness 4 adds, like, up to, it, it adds a couple hearts of damage. Um, so I should be able to just, like, one-shot creepers and, or at least, at the very least, spiders, because they have 8 health, um, and everything else is 10. So, or, well, I don't know about gas, but, um, or blazes, really, I'm not sure about them either, but I know that, um, skeletons and zombies both have 10 hearts, and so do creepers and spiders have eight 
So. Alrighty. I'll just toss this down, put that back on the track so I have one here, and then run down to the other side. And oh, no, my inventory is too full for that. Um, here, I'll just store some stuff for now so I can grab those minecarts that I left over there. Um, actually, just quickly before I end the video, or this ep this piece of the video at least, um, let's throw down some some wools. One, two, three. I know there's another one here somewhere, isn't there? No? Okay. We have lime wool, pink wool, gray wool. Yay! Okay, hold on a second, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, so let's just come over here and grab those uh, minecarts that have been piling up over here. <laughs> hey, look at the moon. Wow, the moon goes down fast. Alright. Feather falling boots are fun. Okay. So now we can just, uh, Whee. Okay, I'm just going to put these in here, grab the rest of my stuff, and let's head back into our storage room slash home slash whatever. Okay, so that was 6, 7, and 8, right? The dungeons. We'll go back and count when we're done here. Um, oh boy, this chest is getting full. Okay, so we have a bunch of iron here. Um, I'll actually start smelting that. Do I have any furnaces in here? No? Do I have any stone in here? <laughs> yeah. Because I couldn't really make a furnace without stone. I mean, sure, I could just mine out a hole in the wall, but... Actually, I want two. Okay. So let's just... Let's do, nope, that and that. And then 64, so we'll just put 8 there, and then we have 60, and I'll just waste a little bit of coal there, because coal cooks 8 things, but um, this one has, has it'll cook 4 things and then idle for a little bit, which sucks, but I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. <laughs> okay, so there's the cobblestone, I'll take some with me, put the bones in, rotten flesh, bone... Take this with me. Take these with me. Beds can go back in. Bow. I have a bow now that I don't want. I'll put that. Okay. Oh, okay, this thing. Ooh, torches. And I'll grab the rest of those arrows. Put that like that. That goes there. This goes there. This can go in there. Uh, that can go in there. Um, I'll put those in there, put these ones on. I'm going to keep that with me just in case. Okay, I'm going to come over here, throw that on the ground because I don't want it. Um, eat some cake. I, I thought I heard the sound effect for eating there, but I actually have no idea. Okay guys, so uh, I don't know where the next dungeons are. So, this will be interesting. Nope, get back here. Um, I feel like skeletons should walk slowly if they're able to shoot at you as soon as they get in range. Because I can't shoot at them as soon as they get in range without walking slowly. You know, because I need to hold down the button. So, you know. That way it was like 14, I think. So, let's, let's go see what's in that nether. Um, in the nether. Because that may just be nine. That, nope. Right. <laughs> I forgot. And this will only bring us a little bit, but... Okay. There we go. Now we can go all the way to the, uh, the nether. Do -do 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 -do. So how are you guys? <laughs> Alright, um... 
Let's see, so we've got eight rolls so far. That's actually half. Alright, so we've finished half of this, and it's just starting to get difficult now. Um, or that sounded like an insult to the map. It's not. Uh, it's, it's starting to get difficult now, is what I should say. So, um, this will be interesting. Um, I forget if we actually went to the nether last time, or if we just uh, came in and went around and then, you know, climbed into the back of that he pig's head. Cathedral of Sude. Su Sude? Swede? Swede? Sweden? Swede? I... Gerben? I don't know. Okay. Do the nether. Alright. Okay, I wonder if the zombie pigmen used magic to take the heat from the nether and somehow send it to the normal world. That theory would certainly explain the environments. Fair enough. Um, dungeon 16. Okay, so that's the last dungeon. And nether wart! <laughs> I like how he just put a little patch right here. So you can grab some. Because that definitely wasn't there before. Last time I played was, um... Way before... Oh my god, water. Guys, that's water. Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? This means that we can take a bucket and bring it to the surface, and lava will no longer be a problem. And, oh, lag. Okay. Um. What is that? Why do I feel like that's way too easy? Why am I going for it anyway? <laughs> because I'm not the brightest guy, okay? That's why. Okay, I'll put a torch there. Or Okay, that's not exactly where I intended to put it, but I guess it works just as well. Wait, if it's called a snowball's chance in hell, or a snowball's chance, and you know that that comes from a snowball's chance in hell, then does that mean I could just... Why are there gold blocks over there? I don't know. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry, the, um... Oh, because there's gas spawners around it, that's why. Um, well, let's see. If I can get down there, I can at the very least... All right, I don't have to worry about stuff spawning here. At the very least, I can take out this this gas spawner. Okay, if it blows up ice, I have no way of getting back up to it. Oh, oh. No, shoot at me. No. <laughs> Aim better. Oh, I missed. Where'd it go? No, I'm trying to blow up those gas spawners with this gas fireballs. Seriously, dude. Aim better. Oh, I can't blow him up? Okay, that's not cool. But anyway, uh, let's hop over here. Oh, okay. They're not even spinning yet. So I can just take care of this ghast. Yay, I hit it once. What? That didn't kill it? Why didn't that kill it? Two arrows it should be enough to kill a ghast. There we go. I just need to eat this. Okay, now... Nope, not there. This one. Okay, come on. Hop up faster. Put those on. Oh god, a blaze. Yep, there we go. That's why. <laughs> That's why it's called Snowball's Chance. Gotcha! Wow. Yep, that's a lot. Okay, that guest is dead. That one's not. Alright, 
if I need, if I want to do this, I need to go from the top. Um, is this would this be dungeon sixteen then? That can't be right. Um, because like I know the dungeon sixteen was. Actually, I want to check out those those gold blocks. Just to see what's up with that, because I mean, I suppose there is lapis just scattered around, so I don't see why there wouldn't be gold as well. But it just seems strange to me, so I want to go check it out. Did he like? He must have placed these uh, lapis blocks by himself, because like it looks like he could have just used MC Edit to change a lot of these things, but the gold blocks are like I don't have an iron pick, right? can't get them um, because the gold blocks he didn't just say you know swap out netherrack for snow like he you can use MC edit to just change one block into another block like find all of the netherrack and turn it into snow blocks but um you can't just add blocks in although sometimes it looks like like over here it looks like he changed the uh, Oh, look at that. There is a wall around the place, so you can't find your way out. Ooh, looks like a chest. And, um, okay, this is unfortunately the end of this episode? I'm not really sure. If this is the end of the episode, I'll let you know. Nope, it's just one glowstone block. That's strange. Okay, uh, so I've got to end this recording. Um, I think this is the end of the episode, so if it is, I'll see you next time. If not, uh, I'll be back in just a second. Nope, nope. It was just, uh, part two. So, let's come on up over here, because this light looks suspicious. Ah, a gas. A natural gas, too. Which, I mean, how often does that happen? I can't eat and climb at the same time. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Because, oh my god. Where'd it go? Here we go. Okay. Now, because I saw all this glowstone here, and ooh, what's that? This wall is all flat, so anything sticking out, or like a hole in it or something like that, uh, looks interesting. But yeah, so if I get a bucket, I can come in here and grab a bunch of this water, and we can take it back to the surface, and, uh, and fix it throw water everywhere. Make it all... Ow! Whoa. Big hole. Make it all not lava-y. Use it to cross things, and water will be very useful. So. Ow. <laughs> it didn't actually damage me, though. It just damaged... It does it? I wonder if it does, does damage your boots with feather falling. Because normally, the enchantments on armor generally, um, whatever it does, it takes away from the durability of the armor. Like, it protects you from something and takes away durability from the armor instead. Um, like, fire protection or whatever. It'll, whenever you take fire damage, the armor takes fire damage instead of you. So, um, yeah. But with feather falling, I don't know. Diamond? Okay. Good to know. Good to know that's up there. I'm glad I looked up. Because uh, I never would have seen that otherwise. So is that Dungeon 16? Because Dungeon 16... Oh, is it just the whole nether is Dungeon 16? Because the nether goes out this way too. Um, doesn't look like there's anything particular here. It's weird because he replaced all of the water, all of the lava blocks with water, um, which includes even like the the parts of the lava that were just spreading out are now solid ice blocks. Um, or I should say he replaced them with ice, not water. Um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> which means that there's the um, the whole. It's not just like the normal water. You've actually got full um, ice blocks 
in the 8x8 area where the lava was spreading out. So, or 9x9, I suppose. Um, so it's a little strange. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back there later. Um, grab some buckets or something, because that'll be useful. Um, and I have snow now. I wish you could turn snow into ice or water or something. Like, you should be able to turn uh, snow into ice somehow. Like, I don't know, you just take them and craft them like this into snow blocks, and then just craft four snow blocks together or something to make, like, two ice blocks. Um, because there's no way to get ice right now, and that's sa that, that makes me sad. Um, so, yeah. It's weird how the graphics tweak out when you look at them from, like, this kind of angle. Because they get all swirly and stuff. I'm not really sure why it does that. I'm assuming it's, um, because we're trying to turn a... 3D world into a 2D image for the screen, because obviously, what when you look at the screen, it's a 2D image, right? You know, you can see that it's flat, but the world that we're in is 3D. So, um, in order to do that, you have to take a big cone in front of the uh, the player and f compress it down to a 2D image, which ends with some distortion. Which is probably why it does that. But don't take my word on it. Because I know there are some problems sometimes with um, trying to... Because the original problem with um, trying to display a 3D world on a 2D screen was how to flatten the screen, right? Because you, you're trying to display this, two, this 3D image as a 2D image. And that can get a little strange sometimes. So, uh, people would have problems with that until they decided that they were going to make a, a strangely shaped rectangle and then distort it a little bit <laughs> to come up with a nice uh, image that they can put on the screen. Because if you were to just take, like... Because you can't just take a 2D image because that would just be a slice of the 3D world. So you need to take the 3D world, f like, take a, the position of the camera and then pick an area in front of it to load the things in, and then it just loads them from the back forward. So that way you can see the back things only if there isn't something in front of it. Which sounds like duh, but... Um, it It's interesting. Anyway. I'm sure most of you probably don't really care too much, and... Um, <gasps> fortune pick, we're going to the nether. <laughs> we're going to the nether right now. And I'm going to make two buckets. Oops, I didn't want to throw that iron on the ground. And we're going to leave that in here. And going back to the nether so I can grab that diamond that was up in the ceiling. And um, and then, okay, <laughs> that needs to stop. Maybe I should just stop recording several things at a time because that's getting annoying. It's 3 a.m. or 3.30 a.m. right now actually. And, uh, I have to work at 8. But, uh, I got home yesterday at 1.15. And, uh, that's... That's about when I probably will normally be getting home. Today I'm getting home at 3. I work 8 to 3. Um, which is 7 hours. Which is better than 8 hours, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Um, like, it's nice to have a lot of hours, because I get paid a lot. But, I mean, I'm still new to this, and my feet are just like dead every day when I come home and I have like no free time now because especially yesterday and the day before because I worked the day before I worked um, 11 to 5 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and that was alright but uh, then the next day yesterday I worked 5 to 1 so like 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. so that means there was only 12 hours between my shifts which meant that if I wanted to get eight hours sleep, I'd only have time to, uh, like, if I wanted to get eight hours sleep, which I didn't, I got, like, five, I think, which is good. It's more than I've been getting. Um, but, uh, like, if I did want to, want to get eight sleep, eight hours of sleep, then that would leave me with four hours left, right? But it takes me, like, an hour and a half to travel 
um, home from work because I have to take the bus. And, uh, or I shouldn't say it takes me an hour and a half to travel. It takes me an hour and a half to get home and then shower. Um, because apparently I take ridiculously long showers. I don't think 20 minutes is that long, but whatever. Um, okay, where's I going? I just need ice and that diamond, wherever it was. It was up here. Because we've got this awesome pick that we can use to just grab, like, four diamonds from each block. So we're doing that. Um, but yeah, so it takes like an hour and a half to get home and shower. And um, so that's an hour and a half of my four hours. And um, then in the morning, I get up two hours early so that I can have time to take you know, half hour shower and um oh no oh no it's turning it all into flimp okay I'll just grab some of this so many snowballs wow 38 diamonds okay um I'm just taking this because I need more blocks to climb up to the next set of um Spot. Fix the boots. There we go. The next set of diamonds, which is over here. Um, but yeah, so I had pretty much no free time yesterday, which was pretty upsetting because, like, I wanted to play some video games, record some stuff, whatever. But as soon as I got home, it was like, okay, well, if I try to sleep now, then, you know, it's. I don't know. <laughs> um, it was just pretty rough on me because I, I don't like it when I don't have any time to relax, um, just play some video games, have fun, you know, okay, is that all of it, it looks like, it. oh, there's some right here, okay, wow, I actually just dug out, I'm digging out too fast underneath myself that I'm falling and taking damage from it, okay, so this is a lot of diamonds, <laughs> I could definitely make some diamond armor with this, but here you go guys, this is the power of a fortune 3 pick. I now have 108 diamonds. Um, and I'll just eat this, and then run over here and grab this water, and then, actually is there anything closer? No, that stuff's not that much closer. Um, and then I will have to be gone really quick, because, okay. Okay, now I have to end this video. So. Uh, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, now that we've got all this awesome stuff. <laughs> Bye.